Today we're making a fun stop just off Sonora Pass to take a look at a fascinating geological historical wonder. Join me as we explore Columns of the Giants. Located inside Stanislaus National Forest, at an elevation of 6,329 feet, Columns of the Giants can be reached from Yosemite National Park by taking Highway 120 and continuing on to Highway 49. Then turning right onto Highway 108, you reach the spectacular basalt columns. Start from the parking area and cross the beautiful footbridge, heading out on the paved interpretive path here. Scientists believe that approximately 150,000 years ago, lava flowed into this area, and as it cooled and contracted, it formed the incredible columns that we see before us today. This place definitely reminds me of Devil's Post Pile in the Mammoth Lakes area, although the way this spreads and falls is completely unique to itself. At under half a mile and less than 50 feet in elevation change, this can absolutely be a quick stop to stretch your legs, but I encourage you, walk the entire path and explore the columns from the viewing area, along with the beautiful trees and wildlife found here. There are multiple information plaques along this gentle trail. Make sure to stop to learn about the history of this fascinating place. You'll definitely want to stretch your legs here. Sonora Pass does close during the winter months due to snow, so depending on which side you're coming to visit this spot, it's definitely more of a summer or fall area to visit, but the paved path makes it perfect for families with little ones to enjoy. I know, it can be so exciting to go and explore, but in this place it's incredibly important to stay on the maintained path. Obviously there are unstable areas here, and please remember all the leave no trace principles to keep this place wild and beautiful for generations to come. There are many gems in Stanislaus National Forest, but columns of the giants should not be missed. Something that makes this spot so incredible is if we look at the way there are straight columns and then jagged cliffs above, it's a clue scientists believe mean there might have been two separate eruptions and lava flows. The first was under ideal conditions forming the classic tall columns, but then the second later would have cooled at an uneven rate, creating the jagged cliffs we see above.
Next to Columns of Giants Interpretive Walk is the Pigeon Flat Campground with walk-in campsites. And you can throw a line in the nearby middle fork of the Stanislavs River for some great fishing. If you want more hiking and striking views back towards Pine Crest on Highway 108, you can find another short trail that boasts views of the Donnell Reservoir and Middle Fork Stanislavs River. Thank you so much for joining me this week to explore Columns of the Giants. For more information on this fascinating place, see my full blog post at flyingdonmarie.com. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe. And until next week, I hope you find adventure and encouragement wherever you go. Bye.